On this list, I have mentioned those movies which portray the true meaning of Christmas and kept Christmas as the theme of the movie. So movies which are released on Christmas Day or storylines which have nothing to do with Christmas are not on the list. In this movie, the family accidentally leaves the boy behind on their vacation to Paris. Kevin! <laughs> Meanwhile, two burglars are trying to steal the empty houses vacated during Christmas vacation. Even though the plot of the movie is how the boy defends his home from burglars, but there are much more things which makes this movie work and rated highest in the Home Alone series, while movies post the third part does not do well. What makes this movie work is the fact that the concept was fresh. By managing day-to-day -day activities on his own without adult supervision. The character of the child had mixture of innocence and naughtiness. There was a very important message for the grown-ups at the end of the movie. If someone tells you that Arnold Schwarzenegger is in a Christmas movie, you would expect a die-hard kind of movie, isn't it? This is an out-and-out -out family comedy. The plot is about how Arnold tries his best to buy his son a toy which is in high demand and selling quickly. Arnold throughout the movie tries to fulfill his son's wish by looking for this toy in various places with sole purpose of becoming his son's hero. But the message of the movie is that it's not gifts but the values and time you give brings you and your child closer. The movie takes place in a fictional place called Whoville. In this movie, Jim Carrey is unrecognizable. He showcases his complete talent in this movie. His expression, body language and comic timing makes every frame hilarious. Jim Carrey plays the role of the Grinch. He is a grouchy, solitary creature who hates Christmas and he tries to cancel Christmas by stealing Christmas gifts and decorations from the homes of the nearby town of Hoville on Christmas Eve. Miraculously, the Grinch realizes that Christmas is not all about money and presents. It is about love we show one another not through material things but through our hearts, our words and our actions. It's called the season of giving, not the season of receiving for a reason. I will recommend you to watch either the live action movie of Jim Carrey or the 1967 animated one. On Christmas Eve, Tim Allen startled Santa Claus. Santa Claus falls on the ground and disappears leaving behind his attire. Tim Allen, in order to please his son, wears the dress and does the job of Santa Claus for one day. They go to the North Pole where Tim learns that he must become the new Santa as anyone who wears the dress has to be Santa as per the clause. The movie is unique in the sense that there isn't really a bad guy. It's just one man trying to manage his many responsibilities while being a good father and learning what it takes to be Santa. The film was produced through the process of motion capture. It is based on Charles Dickens' famous novel of the same name. Jim Carrey plays the role of a mean-spirited and selfish old man who hates Christmas. He is unkind to the people who work for him, then refuses to give to charity, and he is not in good terms with his family. On Christmas Eve, three ghosts show him his past, present and future. In this process, he learns important life lessons which all of us should follow. The movie has dark undertone unlike any other Christmas movies and Jim Carrey proves that even with his voice he can do magic. He is master of comedy but he is just as good in any other genre. Elf is directed by John Favreau who has given us blockbusters like Iron Man and Chef. The film centers on Buddy, a human raised by Santa's elves who learns about his origins and heads to New York City to meet his biological father. This is one of the best movie of Will Ferrell. He is known mostly for his physical and cringe comedy, but on this movie, he changed his style. He plays character of an innocent man who sees the good in everybody. Even though it is an out-and-out -out Christmas movie, it has a wonderful message. 
it teaches us to be hopeful spread cheer to everyone and send our love to our families along the way the story is about a man who has given up his personal dreams in order to help others in his community as he becomes hopeless with his life his guardian angel shows him how he has touched the lives of others and how different life would have been for his wife and his community if he had not been born it is considered one of the greatest movie of all time it is a movie about the middle class the movie depicts the hardship struggle and happiness in the simpler things of a common man must watch for everyone regardless of being a christmas movie or not ben affleck leads an empty life with only wealth by his side spending another lonely christmas is surely not what he wants so he pays a family to play along and treat him as part of their family and celebrate christmas with him this movie was a flop but it belongs to the list of the movies which were actually good and worth a watch it is a feel good movie has some really good comedic moments wonderful cast and most importantly christmas spirit a young boy who does not believe in santa boards a train and embarks on an extraordinary journey to the north pole to meet santa claus his life takes a turn after he encounters special people that makes his life memorable this is an out and out fantasy movie made especially for children but adults can enjoy too watching this movie awakes our inner child the whole movie is a joy ride and endless roller coaster ride at the end of the movie it tells us to never let the inner child die the movie is about a couple who decides to skip christmas one year since their daughter is away much to the disappointment of their neighbors until their daughter decides to come home at the last minute along with funny elements the movie also celebrates togetherness a good mixture of family friends and neighbors makes life easier for everyone because when there is a need they are the ones we can rely on a family drama that can be enjoyed by everyone across all ages hopefully you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section which movie you like the most thank you for watching